July 24th, 2016, um, Hudson was born. At a whopping two pounds, two ounces. Two pounds, two ounces. And we had been told, don't expect him to cry. He's too young. His lungs are not developed. And I mean, he's really not supposed to be here. My first pregnancy, I just expected the rainbows and happy puppies that you, everyone tells you about. It's these stories that you hardly ever hear until you're in one. From the minute we took that first step on our NICU journey, the NICU community is like a family. They didn't know us and they took us in and they, they bought us food and they bought us gas and you know, they loved us and they shared their stories with us. When you are told that your child might not survive, and here he is at two years old writing the letter H. I mean, most people don't cry when their kids write a letter, <laughs> you know, but I find myself just overwhelmed with gratitude at where he is and what he can do. We know that there are families that go through far greater stresses than we had to and knowing that that technology and our story and testimony can be a beacon for them. When I think about the fact that Amy and Chris George took a loss that I cannot even fathom and used it to glorify God and to keep the memory of Melissa alive and Without that, our NICU may not have the technology that saved my son. And I just cannot ever express the gratitude that I feel for every person who ever gave a dollar. <laughs> you know, it has been the accumulation of dollars to surpass three million dollars worth of money raised to support, you know, the Melissa George Fund. And without that money, I don't know that my son would be here.